Hello. Welcome to this Advanced Steel 2021 tutorial. In previous lesson we have created the joint connection between two bracing UPN beams. Today we are going to create another gusset connection type, that is a gusset plate to column and base plate. On connection vault, select general bracings tab then select gusset plate to column and base plate tool. Now select the column at grid 1, B, then hit enter. Then select base plate and hit enter. Finally select the diagonal UPN beam and press enter. A gusset plate to column and base plate dialog box will be shown. Now let's switch to 2D drawing to get some information. In detail 4, there are 4 bolts M16 connect gusset plate to double UPN beam. Now get back to advanced steel 3D model. Right click on the joint connection box then select advanced joint properties from the context menu. On gusset plate to column and base plate dialog box select general tab, then select gusset plate shape option. We are going to select perpendicular for the shape at main beam, because we need the top edge of the gusset plate perpendicular to the column. Then select variable option in shape at beam plate field. We also check the align to base plate option in order to let the the Connor 5 line on the base plate edge. For plate arrangement, if we select one side option, the gusset plate will be added one side of the bracing UPN beam. As you can see, now we are going to view only this gusset joint in order to make it ease to modify. On Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Quick View option, then click on Quick View on Joint Tool. Let's select the joint box for identifying object. Then select the arrow perpendicular to the gusset plate for the selection CS. Press enter when advanced steel question about view depth extension. We set the view depth extension in all three directions as default. Now hold down shift key then middle mouse button to start 3D orbit the right view. Then rotate the gusset plate to appropriate position. Now right click on the joint box then select the advanced joint properties option from the context menu.
navigate to gusset plate shape tab and change plate arrangement to other side. The gusset plate will move to opposite side of the previous option. In this tutorial the gusset plate is center of 2 UPN, so we are going to select centered option for plate arrangement. Now switch to gusset plate parameter option, and type 12 as the thickness value. Input 10 mm for both projection 1 and projection 2. We will set rest of parameter in the gusset plate parameter tab as default value. Now switch to bolts in diagonal option. Select, from column, option from cutback layout drop down list, and note that the cutback value is now 115. It is the distance from the nearest point of the diagonal beam to the web of the column, let's check it again. In 2D drawing the distance between the nearest of the WPN beam and the flange of the column is 27 mm. So that the cutback value is sum of 115 and 27 mm. Right click on the joint connection box then select advanced joint properties from the context menu. Type 142 mm in cutback field. Now as you can see the diagonal beam move away from the column, the gap now is 27. The edge distance 1 is the distance from the first row of bolt to the end of diagonal beam, we input 35 as value of edge distance 1. The intermediate distance is the distance between two row of bolts, we are going to keep it 50.
Next in the edge distance 2 field, we type 35. and then select center line option in setting for edge distance field. Now we are going to adjust the distance between two columns of bolt. In intermediate distance field, we type 80 as distance between two column of bolts. Switch to bolt parameters where you can set up the bolt type, grade. Now go back to gusset plate contour, where you can choose the corner type for gusset plate. Let's select corner finish option in the corner type field. And then we select straight option for corner finish. Finally set the corner size as 15 millimeters. Close the gusset plate to column and base plate dialog box. We have already created a gusset plate to column and base plate. Thank you so much for watching. And see you soon.